What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nilo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what the stars have in store for us. So, let's get into it. As always, shout out to all the Virgos celebrating birthdays this week. Pay close attention as this energy will be with you all year. So last week, we had our full moon in the sign of Pisces. Uh, I hope that went well for everybody. Uh, feel free to chime in. Let me know how it was. Uh, for me, the, the Piscean energy was definitely felt. And at those times, particularly with Neptune and Pisces energy, it, it's almost like trying to gain your footing in a big ocean. Like trying to swim with the current, but the current constantly going all over the place. And... Ultimately, what you always learn during those times is to just let the current take you where it will or where it wants. You know, sometimes that resistance makes it a little bit harder. And at the end of the day, that's what we call letting go. So I think a huge theme for last week was really to let go. And that can definitely carry over into uh, this week. So... If you are struggling in some capacity, definitely check in with yourself and, and, and ask, like, is there an area in which I need to just surrender, let go, and allow myself to be carried or, you know, have a little bit more faith? Uh, so, yeah, take a look into that. But this week, this week, we have fresh energy. It's an important week. Uh, for one, we got Mars. Mars finally going retrograde, where it's going to be retrograde for the rest of this year. Uh, I'm going to jump into that in a few, but I want to start off with the new movements. So at the start of this week, we have both Mercury and Venus switching signs. And not only are they both switching signs, but they're aspecting one another. The Mercury and Venus are forming a sextile with one another. So we got Mercury in Libra and we got Mercury in, uh, sorry, we got Mercury in Libra and we got Venus in Leo. Both masculine energy, which I think is key, particularly with Mars also in, you know, masculine sign and all of that. So, and then by the time Mars goes retrograde, we're going to have Basically, like, all the outer planets retrograde, and then Mars and Saturn as well. Jupiter will be ending its retrograde soon. But anyway, how I feel about this is that for with Mercury in Libra and then Venus being in Leo, relationships are going to come center stage. And right now... With this Virgo influence, the sun being in Virgo, the sun ruling Leo, I feel like this is a, a, a week of adjustments, a week of really dissecting our relationships, uh, looking at them in a more detailed view. Whatever's transpired between us and friends or romantic partners, we're going to see, we're going to be asking ourselves, okay, is this worth it? Is how can I make this better? What issues are we having? So there's going to be a, a real tendency to look at relationships in a realistic point of view, which is really good, particularly coming off of that full moon in Pisces where we have a tendency to see things how we want to see them. So we're really getting a, a, a real reality regarding relationships and how we can enhance them, fix them, how we can grow and improve, okay? With Mercury and Libra, we're more expressive towards other people, particularly if you have other air signs as well. This is a great time to express yourself and to get out there and make, make contacts and allow yourself to be influenced by others and be open to learning from others, okay? I like when Mercury is in Libra because of that ability to learn from others and it's kind of like taking 
what we already know, what we're already good at, and seeing the deeper meaning behind our interactions with other people and just uh, kind of like lifting each other up, each one teach one uh, kind of vibe. So with this said, and the, and the sex town, there, this is great for creativity, but it's really just great for saying what you need to say, right? So if, like be honest right now, you know, don't sugarcoat anything. Seek to be expressive. Uh, if you're if you're wanting to impress somebody, the creative energy will be here for you. Have re like really great ideas to spice up your relationship, be more romantic, or you know, just engage with others more. And I think this influence is going to carry on definitely for this whole week, but even on into next week. So. Just be mindful of your interactions with people and understand we, we stand to learn a lot from one another right now. So you can be called to be a mentor, offer some words of wisdom, and they can come from others when you least suspect it. So it's a real, and then with the, them both being masculine energies, yang energies, and this being like the waning phase, we can be feeling more motivated than normal. So traditionally, it's not a time to start new endeavors, but collect your ideas, collect your ideas, organize them, seek to improve. And this week, I believe, is going to be key uh, towards new moon endeavors uh, coming forward. So then just to talk a little bit more about Venus in Leo, uh, a great time for personal evolution, expression, beautifying yourself. You know, Leo energy is about is about the self and your talent and, and self realization. So do something nice for yourself. Like if you're having like a first house transit, a second house transit with with Leo here, or even if it's in your fourth house. Do something regarding this house that enhances your self-confidence, that makes you uh, feel better. Because what I'm seeing this, this week is that energy needs expression, but not like in the sense of like starting something and expecting to finish it at the same time, but more so just being in flow and being stimulated. And Venus's whole transit through Leo is going to be a, a time for doing that. So it's going to be very very fruitful in a lot of different ways so then we got on the ninth we got mars going retrograde and if you haven't seen my video on mars retrograde i talk about it in detail with everything to expect and how to what to look forward look out for and how to best kind of like apply this energy what I want you guys to look at right now is the fact that for here, so Mars is slowing down. It's slowing down. And for the next month, a month and some change, Mars is going to be in um, square with Saturn. So I've said this before. It's about taking your time. It's about using your energy, but using it in a disciplined manner. Okay, enjoying the process, grounding the Martian impulse. Okay, so this is going to this influence is going to be here for the, for the next month. And if you're if you're a cardinal, if you have cardinal energy around these degrees, the late cardinal signs, that's also squaring that natal energy for you, which can also just denote struggle, which can denote impatience, okay? And really what you want to focus on in this retrograde cycle overall is a re how can you reorient how you express your masculine energy or healing any issues that you have with masculine energy, okay? So if you're not a very outgoing person, 
this retrograde cycle is really going to encourage you to boss up a little bit, to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more confident, okay? And that whole idea of like confidence and courage, it can lead you to want to, and this thing with Capricorn energy, the square to Capricorn, it can make you want to feel sorry for yourself. But, but, but don't, don't feel sorry for yourself. Rather, under, the thing with Saturn is that when you're honest and when you, Saturn wants you to own your flaws. Saturn wants you to, to be like, okay, I haven't been as disciplined as I could be. Or I'm not where I need to be because I didn't do such and such. And then the Aries part of this energy is the motivation needed to get better. And right now with the sun in Virgo, we easily can come up with practical ways of improving ourselves, okay? And at the end of the day, it's all gonna relate back towards trusting the process and going through the motions. Listen, I'm Mercury ruled. We like to zip through things. There's one thing that's helped me in my development is to take my time. So I really offer that piece of advice to you guys. So pay close attention, you know, if you got cardinal energy and you're getting the square, because it's gonna be a long-term square, okay? Or or even an opposition. If you if you're getting the sextile, you can experience increased productivity. I think all of us are all have the potential to be productive. It's just a matter of how we channel the energy. So, as always, Aries is physicality, it is exercise, it is hands-on experience. Don't get lost in your head. Just find ways to take action. Doesn't have to be big action, but just some type of action, all right? Then, we got also this week, always a pleasant connection, we got the sun trying, beginning, it's trying to all the Capricorn planets, but it's going to be first uh, in trying to Jupiter, okay? And this is just a great time to speak things into existence, to have faith, taking risk, okay? Um, luck is on your side. So look at whatever houses the sun is transiting within your chart and Jupiter is transiting, and you can manifest things within those areas and overall just have more faith and optimism towards achieving your goals and if you have any other planets interacting with these planets they can come to a head these these are both you know earth planets so there can be some type of financial come up for some all right but it's a really good it's a really good time whenever the sun links up with Jupiter, feeling lucky. So that's just some food for thought, but use that energy uh, to your benefit. And like I said, as the sun progresses through Virgo, it's going to then try and Pluto and try and Saturn. So overall, we have the chance for a lot of productivity uh, coming up. So keep track of your ideas, okay? Remain grounded. And just take it one day at a time. But this is my interpretation of this week's forecast. Feel free to chime in. Let me know what's going on in your world. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so now. If you need a reading, holla at me. Till ne next time, peace.